Hey you guys, it's Carman, and I wanted to share one of the tools that I use regularly um, when I'm working, when you know I have to take notes. Because of me being dyslexic, things could be a little challenging for me. So I've learned how to use the tools to be successful in doing a lot of the things that I do. And not only using this device in a work environment, I've also used it for personal reasons, such as, you know, when I go to my son's meetings and things that I want to recall and go through and ask questions later. I've also used this particular software in a school setting to take notes from my class where I can go back and look at my notes and hear my notes as if I am there for the first time. So this program is called Otter. And so basically, I'm going to show you with this Word document. This is, and I'll get to this tool later, but I'm going to show, give you guys a brief um, overview of, or a brief sample of what Microsoft can do if you have the latest Microsoft software. So I'm going to highlight this text. Instead of me reading it to you, I'm going to let Microsoft read it to you. Automated meeting notes with audio recording, transcribed text, and highlight summary. Automated meeting notes with AI, Otter will type out your meeting notes in real time. Speech and speaker ID types, search, organize, edit, play, share. So, that is the software that is built into Microsoft Word or any Microsoft, actually Microsoft Suite, if you have the latest Microsoft. So that is something that I will demo with my future uh, videos. But here is the address for the Otter. And so basically I already have it up and running. So we're gonna minimize this window. Okay, so this is Otter. So as soon as you log in, it brings you to this home page. And as you can see, I have my own profile, which um, you can link it to your Gmail account, which is pretty cool. Because then that way, instead of creating a whole new password, creating a whole new log login uh, ID name or username, this is already connected to your Gmail account. So you can see here, this is the home page. Uh, my conversations. So these are previous uh, recordings that I've done over, you know, over time. Um, just recently, I did one on Saturday. Um, I can also share this information. Say if I wanted to share my, um, my recording with another person, I can share. Here you can see I've already shared it with two other people. Applications. Um, you can also use them, use this, um, software in the different platforms you see here by adding which i think is awesome i've um i've also used this software in zoom meetings when working and taking notes and things of that nature that i want to go back to and present later as hey these are my meeting notes this is the information i got so i've gotten the precise information that was um spoke about in the meeting. So basically, I'm going to show you how to actually just record. We're just going to do a test record. And this is this software is so simple. It is just it's easy. And it's friendly. And this is what I like about it. So here we're going to do a test record. So all you need to do is press record. So here, I am talking and it's dictating everything that I'm saying in text. But the cool thing about this, it's also recording my voice as we speak. This software is so helpful to me in my day-to-day -day life that I recommend it for anyone to use. This software can also be downloaded to your iOS or Android device. And the cool thing about that as well is whatever you record on your mobile device, it transfers that information to your web-based uh, profile, which we are dictating on here onto your computer. So it's not like you have to transfer that information or 
go, you know, uh, send it to that file, download it. Everything is housed on this web-based um, profile, which is, which I love. It, it makes life so much easier. I've used other recording devices where it recorded and then you had to write with it and then you transfer it and then you upload it, which was very time consuming. With this product, you're able to dictate and house all of your information in one simple web-based software. So I wanted to demonstrate how this product worked, and this is my demonstration. So what we're going to do now is stop the recording and play it back. So press stop. Okay, so now it's converting the recording. So depending on how long your recording is, it may take a little longer. But what happens here is a little icon at the bottom will come and alert and let you know that, hey, we've buffered your recording, it's ready, because the recording is matching and correcting, making sure the words are correct. Uh, to its ability, because there's still, you know, there's sometimes some errors, but for the most part, it's like 95%. I mean, I can, I love that. It's 95%, which is great. So we can still go and check the recording by going to my conversation. There it goes. It's ready. It's converted. Yay. And so we just did... The recording here this is the date this is the time so I know that this is the right recording so we click on it boom so everything is located here we can also name this recording so we're gonna say test all right then we click here the cool thing that I like about it is it identifies the first speaker and if there's a second speaker, it'll let you know. When you pause within that recording, as you can see, it breaks it down. Oh, she paused or he paused. And here is an, the next um, information that's being recorded. It has it can go up to multiple speakers by identifying the different speakers in the recording. So here, all we need to do is press play. Record. Uh oh. Record. Hold on. Okay, let's stop that. Let's try it again. Come on. Life about this. Record. Okay. So, here I am talking and it's dictating everything that I'm saying in text. But the cool thing about this, it's also recording my voice as we speak. See, this is a really cool software that I recommend for people that for anybody not just people with disabilities but people making it easy for people to keep track of their notes and information that they would like to retrieve later so here is a summary of keywords that I've mentioned and maybe said a couple of times that you can go back to and say oh I, you know I, I remember the speaker saying this word dictate dictate dictating so you can go back and say oh dictating everything that i'm saying and dictating on here onto your computer so it's not the dictate and house all of so you can go back to key words within the recording and hear the particular recording or hear where it where that information you want to retrieve within that section only. I love this software and I recommend it for anyone. It is an amazing software. And another thing that I found that was helpful for me, especially when I'm doing minutes, you know, minutes, and I can pretty much select this text, boom, copy it, and move it here to a Word document and sort it out myself to make it say what I needed to say uh, to present to other colleagues or as a way to submit it, submit some kind of documentation 
or for personal reasons. I can also keep that information. Here you can go and edit some of the fun some of the things within the actual recording. These are like, you know, um, shortcuts. So these are ways that you can do that. Here, I can share the document. So by clicking on that, you can type in whoever you want to share that document with. Um, or anyone with the link can view it. We know that it you can start it wherever you want to start it. It says start here. So I think that this and so they don't have to hear the whole recording. I really love the software. Um, it's been around for a couple of a couple of years. So it's really it's advanced over the years and it's just become really easy. Um, also, I wanted to show share something with you as well. So here is the input audio or video. So in the past, what I've done because I'm also I also do videos. I've imported videos into this software by clicking here. And what it does is it it runs the video through and transcribes the rec the the word part of the uh, video into text and as a recording. It doesn't show the video. It just takes the audio section of the video and trans translates it into text and recording. You can also say you have a recording on your phone from a previous thing that you've done. You can also put that recording, that audio into this browser file and upload it to this uh, software and it will transcribe that text and into that audio into text along with the audio, which I still think is amazing. So I wanted to share you got share with you guys some of the tools that I use. And this is one of the main tools that I use. So please look out for my upcoming video where I share and demo another software that I use to actually uh, stay focused and support of me being dyslexic and manage my everyday life. Thanks guys.